Hey guys, it's Joe Tunney and I'm visiting my friends here at Big Island Honda right off the Queen K in the beautiful city of Kona, Hawaii. And we're taking a look at one of the most distinctive trucks on the road today, the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. And we're taking a look at two levels of the Ridgeline. To my right, the RTL, and to my left, the RTLE. And we're gonna see a little bit about what they share and what is distinctive between the two of them. One of them is the price, and so the RTLE is about $5,000 more than the RTL. We'll see which one makes the, the right choice for you. Start by popping the hood and seeing what's the same in the two of them. They both share the same 280 horsepower engine. In fact, they same, share the same architecture, not just with each other, but with Honda's entire car lineup. That's always been kind of a bugaboo in the truck business because trucks have forever been frame vehicles with the body on top of that frame. Cars for many, many years have been unibody, and so the two are mutually exclusive from one another. And truck people hate the idea of car based trucks because they're not quote unquote real trucks. However, cars used to have frames as well, and one day somebody got it into their head that they'd be vastly improved if they had unibodies instead of frames. Is it possible that trucks are also in a moment of evolution where they are also evolving away from frames and into unibody construction? Both of these vehicles have the same 280 horsepower six cylinder motor, which goes zero to 60 in just about six seconds. So they're both very, very powerful. That's one of the nice things about having a car based platform. The other thing is trucks as a rule are much less uh, environmentally friendly than their car counterparts. Because this is based on Honda's car lineup, it meets and exceeds what's called CARB 3, or California Air Resources Board number three, or EPA number three uh, limitations of smog pollutions. So it's very, very clean in the tailpipe. But more than that, this is a truck that's built to last for a long, long, long time. And so everything inside the motor is micro-polished to an extraordinarily high level so that not only is it extremely efficient and built to last for many, many, many years, it is environmentally sound. In fact, it is certified to meet and exceed those EPA-3 regulations all the way up to 150,000 miles. So not just it's clean today, but it doesn't do quite as well in the future. No, it's fabulous for years and years and years. And so this is a huge cut above its competition. Let's take a look at the front end of each of the RTL and the RTLE. You'll notice that there's some subtle distinctions between the two. Everything on the RTL is what's called matte finish, where it's more of the traditional plastic look, where on the RTLE to my left, it's more of a lacquer finish or a polished finish, and that uh, extends to the interior as well. Also, the door handles are chrome on the RTLE, where they're painted on the RTL. So that's a visual cue that you get automatically. I'm going to jump around and take a look. Now, one thing the RTLE has that the RTL does not is front and rear parking sensors. One thing about trucks is that we get ourselves into a little bit more adventurous situations than we do in a car, and having parking sensors is kind of a big deal. In fact, it's kind of a must-have deal for me, and so that's gonna catch my attention right out of the gate. Taking a look around, well, it's a better than 125 inch wheelbase, so it's a totally different wheelbase. In fact, it's the under uh, architecture of this vehicle is in many ways different than the Odyssey and Accord and other Honda product lineups. Even the Honda Pilot has a 14 inch shorter wheelbase than the Ridgeline does. Inside, well, the RTLE has, again, that lacquer finish has a much nicer stereo system. I know it's only eight speakers where the RTL is a seven speaker, but it's a vastly superior sound system. It also has a much more modern interface with a much bigger screen and it's a more contemporary feel and more contemporary experience. Also, it just looks and feels a little bit more sophisticated than its RTL counterpart. Nice touches like heated steering wheel are a big plus. I'm gonna jump into the back. So trucks, even in quad cap configuration, tend to be pretty modestly sized for the folks in the back seat. The Ridgeline is very, very spacious for folks in the back seat. I'm six feet tall, 175 pounds, and I have acres of space 
two, even three of us would have no problem getting comfortable back here. One of the other neat features is that it has theater seating, so the rear seat is much, much higher than the front seat, meaning you have full visibility through the windshield as if you were sitting in the front seat, which makes it a much more pleasurable experience. I'm going to show you one thing with the gas cap as well. This is a feature that I wish uh, all cars would have gone to many years ago. Anybody who knows you haven't turned your gas cap enough on any Japanese car particularly will automatically trigger your check engine light. Honda's gone to a capless system, so you never have to worry about that again. This is a feature that should have been in cars decades ago. Another great feature is that when you walk away from the car, it automatically locks the doors, even if you have it. And then on top of that, the rear seat folds up, so I have abundant storage if I don't have anybody in the back seat and protect things that I prefer to keep inside the vehicle than out. Taking a look around, well, the tailgate is pretty neat on the Ridgeline. It opens in one of two ways. Either it opens conventionally, and that steel reinforced uh, poly bed is uh, built to be scratch resistant, dent resistant, of course, but it's quite strong, and that extends all the way to the tailgate. But the tailgate also opens, not just front to back, but side to side. So again, oftentimes we get ourselves into different situations in a truck that we wouldn't get to in a car. Having the two mode uh, tailgate opening is a big deal. And then one thing that's completely unique to Honda is that the truck bed has its own trunk just like a car. And I can't tell you, anybody who uh, has a truck wishes they had this feature. This is a fabulous feature that again, all trucks would certainly benefit from. Now, two things that make this much more like a truck is that this tows 5,000 pounds and it comes with a class three trailer tow hitch. This vehicle is tested to tow a 5,000 pound boat up a 14 degree incline in 100 degree weather. And so that's at the absolute limits of what most people test a truck for. And so, again, it's built on a car platform and has the benefits of a car, but it does all the things that virtually all people use a truck for. It also has speakers in the back. So if you're out tailgating at the ball game, you can listen to the stereo outside as well as inside. Now let's take a look inside. Now, again, based on a car, it gives you some dynamic advantages that you have over a truck. And so one big advantage is that this has in, uh, intelligent vehicle traction management or intelligent vehicle torque management, the way Honda's car lineup does. That is very, very sophisticated. It's a high performance system that works in real time and works just as well in trucks as it works in cars. It can take the power that's applied to the front wheels and redistribute it to the back wheels so that up to 70% of the power is going to the rear wheels instead of the front. Well, that's obviously invaluable if you're towing. That's also invaluable if you're driving through the snow or through loose terrain or off-road or things like that. That's a feature you'd think they have in every vehicle. Also, that torque management can go left to right. So even if I'm taking turns and I'm driving this like a sports car, it will load up the outside wheel up to 100% of the traction in real time to keep me driving the way I want to be driving. Again, how invaluable is that? If you're towing and slamming on the brakes or if you're taking turns and you're driving on slippery surfaces, it is far superior to any other truck out there. Again, I'm the first to admit, this is a car-based truck, not a truck-based truck. But for most people, most of the time, it's going to do most of the things you rely on your truck to do. It's just gonna do it in such a way that averages 21 miles per gallon, is built to last the test of time, has unbelievable resale. Even the first generation Ridgelines to this day have eye-popping resale value. And it's just so comfortable and easy to drive and easy to use like a car with creature comforts all the way around just like a car. And if you have any questions about this or anything here at Big Island Honda, feel free to reach out to me anytime. My name's Joe Tunney. You can reach me at joelovesawaii at gmail.com.